Okay, so now that we have installed Laravel, let's see what routes are and what benefits routes bring into our application and how we can make use of them. Okay, so before we start writing any code, let me just show you, for example, what a route is. So normally when you're using the web, you type in a URL, right? So let's say you are in your application and then you have a list of people in your application. So let's say people, and how you get to the people is by typing people in your URL forward slash the ID of the person. In this case, for example, let's say 23, okay? And you press enter. So it say not found HTTP exception. So that's an error in our application because we have not defined a route that handles this URL. Okay, so now that we have explained a little bit the connection between a route and a URL, let's start writing some code and things will get clearer. Okay, so here we are back in our application. So remember, this is the fresh installation of Laravel that we did in the previous video. So normally routes are found in the app folder, inside the HTTP folder, and there's a file called routes.php, and this is where you will normally define routes. Okay, so a fresh route file will look like this in a Laravel 5 application. And for now, just ignore this here and everything else that's in there. We're going to define a new route down here. And you do that using the route class. So we say route. So remember, here we, we were trying to handle for slash people slash some ID. So let's just define a route that get us just to people. So let's just say get. And what you need to do first is type in a URL you want to handle, so in this case, people. And what happens when we type forward slash people in our application, we want to spit out just some text to confirm that that route has been declared properly. So in routes, you can pass in many things. You can pass in closures, that is an anonymous function, or you can pass in control action, or a whole bunch of other things. But for now, let's just stick with the closures, and as we go by, we'll explore other things you can pass in into a route okay so let's just pass in this function here and inside here let's just say echo inside people's route okay and let's type in people and as you can see we have hit that route says which says inside people's route okay so that means that that route has been declared properly so now let's handle the case wherein we just don't type people, but we type in an ID. So what we want to do is um, spit out this 23 here, just to show that that route also is declared. So let's go back in our code here, the routes.php file. And right after people, we're going to put another slash there. So what we're going to declare now is what we call route parameters. So in this case, we want to say that after people, we're expecting something dynamic, something that could change. Okay. So in this case, we want it to be the ID and whatever um, route parameter you define in the string here, you have to um, pass in as a parameter in the anonymous function as well. So you can name it anything, but in this case, let's just say ID. Okay, so let's um, say inside people route with ID of, let's just concatenate this ID there, save it, back in our browser, let's refresh. And as you can see, the people route is no longer working. And I'll just show you in a moment why that is. So let's just say forward slash 23, which is to throw an error, but should work now. So as you can see, it says inside people's route with ID of 23. Okay, so what's happening here? I right, remember I did say that um, ID here is a route parameter, but yes, that's true, but it's also a required route parameter. So how do we make that optional so that both people if we, for example, type in just people here, it should work. And also if we provide an ID, um, it should bring us all the people, uh, only that person with that ID. So let's just put in um, question mark right after ID to indicate that we want to make it optional. Okay, so let's go back in our browser. Now, if we remove the 23 and just type people, it should work. And of course, we have to give a default value to ID. So just say null here. So that means that if we pass in an ID, um, you override this null and set the ID as the one passed in. And if we don't, ID has a default value of null. So let's go back in our browser and we refresh. As you can see, inside people's route with ID off. And in here, it's null, so nothing will get written. So if we pass in, let's say 33, you should see 33 being written to the browser. 
Okay, so that's the basics of using Rouse in Laravel. So there's lots more to using Rouse, which we'll cover in later videos. Um, there's other methods instead of just get, there's stuff like post, for example, if you want to post something um, from your form. So instead of writing get, you just write post, and it's just in the same format. So let's say people, and you have a function here that just handles what happens when someone posts um, data to this route. Okay, but um, to keep this video short, we're going to end with routes here. And as I said, we'll cover more advanced routing um, usages in other videos. And I thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.